Hey guys, Luke Pierce coming back with another video. This one is going to be specifically targeted at coaches. Every man and their dog, whether they know it or not, is going to be a coach in some form, shape or fashion. The only difference is, is do they know it and what sort of coach are they? So within this context, we're talking about like, uh, um, you know, a self-development coach, a personal coach, whatever it might be, helping people get the results that they want to get to. This is really important, and when I understood this, like it freaking blew my mind, probably more so than what it should. But there's a big difference between a coach with a little c and a coach with a capital C. A coach with a little c is going to focus on things like behavior and skills, and also uh, environment as well. So let's put that there as, as well. So your environment, your behavior, and the skill set that you have. That's generally what a coach with the smaller C is going to focus on. You'll go in and see them, they'll say, hey, what's your environment like? Yep, it's pretty good. If it's not good, they'll change it. What's your behavior like? Oh, it's pretty good. If it's not good, they'll try and change it. What's your skill set like? If it's good or if it's not good, they might try and, try and change that in order to get a result. Now, this is very profound in its own sense. But this is where things start to flip and change dramatically. A coach with the big C will do something like this. They will work on your environment. They will work on your behaviors. They will work on your skills. They'll work on your beliefs, your values, your beliefs and your values. They will work on your identity. They'll work on your identity, so who you actually see yourself as at the unconscious level. And then they will help you with your purpose and your mission. So, let's just imagine that you've got someone coming in and obviously they want to change something and you go to a coach with the small C. You might pay exactly the same money as a coach with the bigger C, but could you imagine the difference in the result that you would get. What about this one here? If they came in, they said, hey, I want to lose a lot of weight. That's a pretty easy thing that a lot of people can uh, relate to. I want to lose a lot of weight. This coach here would be like, what's your environment like? Right, that needs to change. Start getting around people who are fit and healthy. Start you know, joining a gym, eating better foods within your behavior as well. And then what's your skills? Maybe that would teach you a few mind hacks in order to uh, you know, do things differently. Okay, that's a well and good. Well, what about over here? You've come in to lose weight, and all of a sudden, I would be looking at what's your identity? Who is it that you actually see yourself in this world as at the unconscious level? Do you see yourself as an overweight person? If that's a yes, then I would change that. Then I'd look at your beliefs and your values. Do you believe that you're an overweight kind of person? If the answer is yes, I would definitely change that. Do you value health and fitness and even yourself? Do you value energy? Do you value healthy food? If that's a no, then I would be changing that. And I would work myself backwards from identity and make sure each one of those were ticked off. Then, to put the cherry on the cake, so to speak, I'd be looking at your purpose or mission. What's the purpose? Why do you want to lose 10 kilos? Why do you want to make a million dollars? Why do you want to fall in love? Why do you want to do whatever it is that you want to do? What's the purpose? What's the mission behind it? Because this, this right here, this right here, and this right here are going to be your deep, deep levels of drive to get the results and do the things that you want to do. So, this coach here with the smaller C, absolute legend, but these are worlds apart. So, when you're thinking about changing, actually understand who you're going to. If you want to become a coach with a fucking huge C, then you need to get to one of the self-mastery trainings. Because in each and every single one of those trainings, we will tick and flick every single one of those boxes and literally turn you into a weapon. If that's what you want, then I'll fucking see you soon.